And welcome back. Now, South Africa's history with the Miss World pageant and uh, the organization goes back to the crowning of South Africa's very own Penelope Ann Coolen. Penny Coolen, remember that back in 1958. And then, of course, there was Annalene Creel in 1974 and more recently, Rolene Strauss in 2014. And uh, since it was founded, though, in 1951, Miss World, uh, which is, of course, one of the most uh, longest established global pageants, has raised money for organizations that support disadvantaged and disabled children and other deserving causes. Now, uh, to highlight this, uh, reigning Miss World is actually in South Africa. Uh, we have Karolina Bialowska, and uh, she is uh, Miss World, and she is joined uh, here in South Africa, of course, um, by uh, someone who needs a very little int uh, introduction, the chairperson of the organization, and that is, of course, uh, Julia Morley. Carolina, Julia, such a pleasure to have you with us here in South Africa. Good morning. Fabulous Good morning. Here. Thank you. Thank you for having us. So, how has it been, Carolina? <laughs> the whole year of our journey here, <laughs> like, it's incredible and amazing, like a dream come true kind of journey, you know. We arrived to Cape Town um, two days ago. Now we are in Johannesburg. Tomorrow we're flying to a different place to join the Mandela Marathon. And visiting South Africa was always a dream of mine. So I'm very happy and blessed to be here with you. Has it lived up to your expectations? I didn't have any, to be ah. honest, but people are creating the country and we are surrounded by such a strong and loving women wherever we go. And it's very uplifting. You have a wonderful people in here. And Julia, you know, uh, uh, this is your baby. It's so my home. <laughs> <laughs> it's like coming home. Uh, uh, and and how, how is it feeling? You know, because, you know, mm. we, we at a time when, you know, the world is seemingly shifting in all sorts of ways, but some things remain constant. I think that if you if you all care about each other and you show that over the years and you're not giving um, well, there's other words for it. You're not pretending. Um, I think people trust you in the end. And the greatest respect and the greatest feeling I can have for South Africa is the trust and love they've shown us always. From the old days right up to the first day that President Mandela came out of prison, we came in. And, and it feels like it became alive again in South Africa. And the people were happy. And I, I always feel it's... I know it's... I shouldn't because it's not my home, but it feels like home. No. Everyone gives me a cuddle. <laughs> and, 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 and that's it. And, and there's yeah. nothing wrong with, you know, feeling at home. We, we love it when I people come to our home. country and they feel Thank at home. You. So mm. we appreciate that and, and we accept that. But, you know, talking about Miss World and, and as you say, uh, those relationships going back, you know, a very, very long time with South Africa. Uh, many times people look at this and they look at this from um, an aesthetic perspective. But it's more than that. I couldn't work with beautiful women, to be honest. <laughs> they don't impress me at all, being beautiful. What is beautiful is, is the heart. And frankly, if we're honoured like we were yesterday to meet with a wonderful lady from the home. What was the name of the home? The it was in beautiful. Township, wonderful organisation who are supporting women who are abused with the kids. And they were the kind and they were lovely and they were looking out for each other women who are abused and so on. And you often think, well, we're doing something here, but shouldn't we do something for the men who abuse them? Shouldn't we say, hey, let's try and find out why? So there's a lot of things to talk about, but the most important thing is that they're doing a great job and we're proud to help them and raise some more money because they need it. They need it to survive and they're, they're doing an incredible job. So South Africa's got a big, strong spirit and whatever happens, whatever's thrown at them, they stand up again and, and these ladies were just, you'd be so proud of them. You know, you should come over and interview them, <laughs> see what's happening out there. It's, it's hard for them, but my goodness, their spirits are smiling and they're really getting on with it. So that's what we've got to do, raise some money for them. They need it. Absolutely. And, and we're so grateful that you actually do that. And, and it speaks it's to the heart honor. of uh, this pageant, doesn't it, Carolina? You know, a beauty with a purpose. Uh, because as Julia says, it's, it's one thing to just be pretty. But yes. uh, yeah, beauty is thing. fleeting. And one day you look like this, the other day you can look in a completely different way. And that there is no many, much value in it. But the value you have in your heart, how you treat other people, how you value them, 
how you work with them, help them, love them. That's something that stays forever. And those are the memories that those people that we met yesterday, we carry for their lives. And we felt so warm when we were there. It was like a beautiful home filled with such a good energy and everyone was so welcoming and mm -hmm. it was our honor to support them. Sure. And this is why Miss World is so special. Wherever we go to visit a country or a place, we try to leave it a little bit better. And that's very meaningful to me as well. And that's why I chose Miss World. <laughs> And, and, you know, you, you speak about and, you know, we see some of the pictures of where you were uh, yesterday and uh, speaking to the home um, yeah. for abused mothers and children. And it, it's such a big deal for us as South Africans because uh, we are dealing with the scourge of gender based violence. So we appreciate, you know, that support that's coming through. But uh, during your reign. In, in other countries. Is there anything in particular that stands out for you, Carolina, in terms of uh, a country that you went to where something really, really just, you know, grabbed uh, the heartstrings uh, that you would like to share with us? To be honest, wherever we go, as I mentioned, people are the most, Im most important. And in every single country, you have a wonderful person who can inspire you, who you can inspire and impact your life. And my beauty of a purpose was focused on homelessness and people who are homeless in my hometown. So even yesterday, they mentioned that they, are, they want to help homeless women because very often they run from the abuser and they end up on the street. So as you look at the entire year, I see links with my beauty with a purpose everywhere. We've been to New York and the chief of police of New York, he said he would like to adopt my social bathroom that I did in Poland. But wherever we go, you see that we have so much more in common than what sets us apart. And we are all facing different kinds of problems. And together we try to find simple solutions. But you can only do it from the heart. And as Jem mentions, you know, when you share light, you you make people feel at home and you make people feel welcomed and that's what we do wherever we go you know i'm looking at you and i'm i'm, I'm totally mesmerized uh, i'm looking at the crown and <laughs> the symbol. colors it's the symbol uh, yes yeah and your eyes you know and how it picks up on what's happening in the crown and uh, guys you don't understand yeah you, you actually need to see this up close it, it it's really quite a picture um but you know yes julia it was made specially this crown when when it was made the the, the reason it was made for free from the queen's jewelers they made it the designers they made it and gave it to me because they love the charity, they love the work we do. And so this is the symbol of fundraising. So that's why the crown is precious. There'll never be another one like it. We have kids, you know, do pretend ones, but this is a <laughs> unique crown. So this is the real deal. That's the real deal. It is a real deal. <laughs> <laughs> it's a huge responsibility to wear that imagine? and a huge honor. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I tell you what, you wear it well and it absolutely oh. suits you. And, Thank you. you know, I, I, I remember, you know, um, was it Ashwarya Rai? Ashwarya Rai, yes. When, 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 when uh, she, right. she won there. that title. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I think, I don't know why, Julia, because I used to watch, you know, the pageants. <laughs> and, but for some reason, that crown that day caught my attention yes. in a different way for the first time and 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 now again it, it, it's just kind of jumping so out special. at me again yes. yeah they're all semi-precious stones he chose the you know the crystals and the jays but but it was made for that special reason for fundraising and and we were so honored to have it and it's it is very precious you couldn't buy it money doesn't buy yeah. that does it no when, when you're no. using something that makes and raises the money so let's talk about the other uh, business in South Africa, of course, of the franchise. So um, yes. we want to know what's happening. I, to tell you, I can't <laughs> wait to tell you. I can't wait to tell you. The thing is, um, I was very happy with our previous license holder. No problems at all. They've chosen one route and I've chosen another. And it's very healthy. It's very normal. I like to think that it will always be a pleasure to meet them and see them. And I wish them well. But I have got the most amazing woman in charge of everything here. And I think you all know her. And I'm so proud of Carol. 
and mm -hmm. I know she has a big heart for fundraising and caring for the kids and, and, the, and the women that we met. And she's yeah. already involved with helping. So whilst we were grateful for the help of the others, we have got the best. <laughs> <laughs> Only the best, simply the best for South Africa. So uh, uh, Carol is just the best we could offer South Africa. And she will look after the women and she will choose the best one to represent Ms. Uh, South Africa in this world. So we're blessed. And that is, of course, Carol Bauer, who of um, course, yes. uh, 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 she Lee used to Carol be a colleague yes. of ours here in <laughs> this right. space, in the broadcasting yes. space, but yeah. she's branched off onto uh, bigger and better I'm things. I'm so proud <laughs> to have her as our license holder. And remember, there is over 130 countries all coming together, and she will be the leader of South Africa as the license holder. And she's a great leader for South Africa. I tell you that now for nothing. Well, we, we look forward to it because mm. I think South Africa takes great pride in, sure. you know, the uh, the women that we have had Absolutely. represented wow. and those who have yes. won at this yes. very prestigious yes. uh, event. And Mr. World too. <laughs> the guys are just as important and we have a Mr. World coming up and you're going to have a Mr. South Africa. So. He will be standing up for the men, which is going to be interesting. Very interesting <laughs> and, and, and something that we should pay attention to. But we have to wrap it. But Carolina, oh. just, uh, you know, to end up with you, uh, your reign comes to an end. Uh, you'll be handing over your crown in, ju in Dubai. But what happens after that? In I'm terms not going to let it go. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the humanitarian work. Oh, oh, oh. Have you already thought about that or are you too busy right now? Well, I try to live in the moment. However, Every single day I'm grateful for and we've managed to do some incredible things across the world and I see it just as a beginning. It will be a beginning of a new chapter. I would be so happy to support the new Miss World and I, I'm sure Jem will take me on some journeys with her and I will be able to continue the legacy of Beauty with a Purpose. I have some projects in my mind I would like to extend. I also want to come back to my Zupana Petrenia, which is in my hometown which, and when we are helping homeless people. I have some career goals, so I literally saw Miss Word as a first step of going somewhere deeper, you know. Jem gave us a mission that will never run out. Ah. I, I really must say thank you so much for stopping by and gracing us here this morning. Oh, it's an honour and pleasure and you are a great interviewer. Thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you, you, you so much. You made so much fun. You, you know, know? Yeah. they say guests are everything. It doesn't matter what we do. Do you it's think so? you oh, who make oh. the interview. So I, thank I, you so much. I, for I being don't agree with that. <laughs> you gave us your energy and we are so grateful for that. Thank well, you. Thanks. Thank you so, so much. And um, hope you enjoy your, uh, the rest of your stay here. I and mm. I don't know, I don't think Julia's going to let uh, Carolina go <laughs> because I, I can just feel the energy here. But I also suspect Julia has this with all of her Miss Worlds. And so she's got many, many daughters that are clinging <laughs> to her that she drags along everywhere. But thank you so much. Uh, that was a reigning Miss World, Carolina uh, Bielowska. I'm hoping I'm saying that correctly. <laughs> uh, she is, how, does, how do I say it? Your surname? Bielavska. You are doing great. Karolina it's not easy. But Bielavska. <laughs> and uh, she's, of course, uh, Miss World, the reigning Miss World, and Miss World Organization chairperson, Julia Morley, uh, speaking to us here on Morning Live, telling us about the launch of the new Miss uh, World South Africa franchise, uh, taken over by Carol Bauer, and, of course, the work that this fabulous franchise does across the world and our reigning Miss World and what she's been doing.